Hey guys, Steve here for Who To My Dice, and say it loud, say it proud, I am a war gamer! Hey guys, Steve here. Uh, this is a video response to Chilling War Gamers. I am a war gamer video. I love these things. You get to see so many cool people from this community. I uh, get to learn a little bit more about each other. It's it's a it's a fantastic thing. I love it. I, I know I did one, God, years ago now. I don't remember the last time one was done. So much fun though. Uh, but yes, on to the questions. First off, the first part uh, that he asked for was how did I get started? Uh, well, it was the golden age of 1995. The I don't know what was going on in 1995. I was 14. Um, but I remember going to a, a smallish city uh, about four hours from where I live right now called North Bay. And I was coming out of a comic book store. I've been a huge comic book fan forever and ever and ever. And I looked across the street. I saw this cool hobby store. It said North Bay Hobby. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, so I meandered over there and I looked around. There was guys in the back room playing games, books, uh, D and D stuff. And in the middle of this rack of books was this beautiful blue, red, and yellow cover featuring prominently an ultramarine carrying a giant banner. It said Codex Ultramarines on it. Had no idea what it was, but it just it stood out to me. I picked it up, started reading through it, and it blew my mind. Now, uh, back in 1995, I was a big fan of Star Trek and, and, and Star Wars, so uh, you know, sci-fi was big for me. And here was one that was completely different, though. This is full-on war. There's like this incredibly diverse backstory, this amazing chapter, and I was hooked. I was hooked. Um, I said to my dad, well, i got to get this. He let me pick it up. And that was sort of the, the, the beginning of the end for me when it came to it. Um, and I, again, I was 14 at times. So I'm, I'm right, this was in the summer. So of course at Christmas, I'm pestering everybody. I want to get some warmer. I need to have some more hammer. I gotta have it. it. Of course, they had no idea what it was. Um, and I remember getting for Christmas, I got um, a, a pack. And this is back in second ed. So I got a, a box full of six uh, Eldar Guardians. So I still have, I put them up. I've done, I've had them in videos. Uh, they're on my Instagram. I also got a box of the old school Imperial Guard Stormtroopers, which sadly were destroyed over time ages ago. I also got uh, a blister pack of Chaos Beastmen and a blister pack of uh, Morgana Le Fay from the old Bretonian range. This is a long, long time ago. Of course, I had no idea to put half these things together. I put the... I put the, uh, the Eldar Guardians together without glue. They kind of snap fitted, sort of, quote unquote, as they just sort of forced them together. Uh, eventually, you know, I, I read through the book, oh, you gotta glue them together. And I glued them together. I painted them up as the best I could, all of them, except Morgana Fay. I didn't want Morgana, Morgana Le Fay. I think I gave that away or something. Um, but that was the beginning. That's how I started. And the next thing, when I, I got enough of my allowance put together, um, I bought a box of Space Marines. That's one of the old school ones. I think it came with five Marines. They were the mono pose from the second edition box set. All of them sort of standing there squat with the, the same stance, the bolter in both hands. And then I went from there and just started building my collection to all they have now. I mean, I've repainted some of these models two or three times at this point. But that's where it started. A, 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 a crazy little hobby store up in North Bay, Ontario, Canada. What's really funny is back in 20... I guess it was 2015, Christmas 2015. I went back up to North Bay uh, for sort of a family reunion to see uh, uh, cousins and whatnot, aunts and uncles up there. And I found that store. Now it actually moved across the street, like directly across the street from where it was. I walked in, of course it was a completely different setup, but it was the exact same store. I talked to the guys, said, yeah, it was a store. We bought it after the other guys got too old to do it. I didn't want to do it anymore. And <laughs> I'm like, wow. And what's really cool is when I went there, they had two boxes of the, the that, that cool plasma obliterator, which I is in my shame pile right now. I got to paint up. But it was awesome. I tried to get that when I worked at Games Workshop. Couldn't. It got diverted from our store. It went directly to online sales. So I never got one. Here it is. Years later, the stores just moved right across the street. And I went in and still found something really cool from it. Uh, it was amazing. It was fun. But yeah, that's how I got started. That is, that's where the, the, the adventure for me began. 
Um, pretty apropos since it's 25 years for me this year, right? Um, second one is where do I see my channel going? Well, that's a hard one to answer. I would love to just see it keep growing. Uh, just so I can have fun. It is it is a, a labor of love and fun for me. I don't ever expect to be way up there, but you know I've got a, I've got a, a good chunk of subscribers. I have a lot of fun with it. That's what I want. I want to just keep being fun. The day it stops being fun, kind of the day that I kind of stop doing it really. Uh, but it's been so much fun, and I just hope that I get to reach out to more people and have more fun. That's really it. It's all fun. Just just have fun. Um, Sort of short answer after a really long answer. Advice. Advice I have for someone who wants to get on YouTube. Um, honestly, like I said before, have fun with it. The minute it stops being fun, it, it's it's just not worth it anymore. Um, that's like the number one thing. And find something you enjoy. If it's Warhammer, if it's any other tabletop war game, RPG, comic book collecting, I don't care, video game playing. Find something you really, really love and do that thing. Um, fill a niche if you can. That's sort of a, uh, to me, that's sort of a, a side thing. Just have fun with it. You can tell the people who are having fun and the people who aren't. The people are, who, who while they may have millions and millions of subscribers, are doing it just for uh, the, 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 the monetary aspect as opposed to actually having a passion for it. You can tell. You can tell. Um, so that would be my advice. Find something you're passionate about, that you love, that you, you know that when you talk about it, you get amped up. You get excited. You can feel the adrenaline burning you. That's what you want. That's what you want to to have other people see. If you don't see that, maybe that's not the thing you're meant to do. You could be, you could enjoy it, but if you're just not feeling the passion, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But that that's what I have to say. And again, I am a war gamer. Thank you very much. You guys just, uh, it, it, this is awesome. So the Chilling War Gamers, uh, I love doing these things. I hope we can see many more. And thank you very much for doing this. And as always, guys, keep rolling those dice. We'll see you later.